Hey there, it's Erin with Time Saving Templates, and today I'm going to be going over an example of how to remove duplicates from your data in Excel. And for this example, I'll also be going into one of the HR templates we have, the total rewards statement, and kind of show you an example of how I would go about reviewing your employee data if it had duplicates in it in order to use the rewards statement. So let me jump into the example. So when we're talking about removing duplicate information, it's usually where you have um, something that you're able to download from your company or from your business. Basically, any type of system or software that you use should be able to download information. But the problem is sometimes there are duplicates. For this example, I have some HR data and also some an example with small business data. When I say duplicate, it just means is the employee ID listed in multiple rows. Something important when you're reviewing any type of employee data is to know if each employee has their own row or are they listed multiple times. So for example, this employee ID number one, you would want to know if your data is going to have multiple rows per employee. So on top of like in duplicate employee IDs, there's also the bonus type is obviously listed multiple times because you have multiple people in different bonuses. If I just do a quick filter, I can see that there's about six to seven different types of bonuses. So if I count everything, all of these columns, I don't have a duplicate row with the identical information in each column. But say that I wanted to just list out all the different bonus types without having to sit here and type, okay, these are the six different bonus plans. I can get that information by removing duplicates. So let me just do a quick example of how to get to the remove duplicate icon. And if I were to highlight everything here, and I know that I don't have an exact duplicate where every the data in each column is a duplicate because I obviously filled this out. And for the example, just go to data and it's gonna be this little icon. If you hover over it, it says remove duplicates. This will delete duplicate rows from a spreadsheet, you can pick which column should be checked for duplicate information. So that just means that by default, it's checking all columns that I highlighted. Employee ID, date, oh, I have some hidden columns, the name, title, and functional area, bonus type and amount. And then you do wanna check if your data has headers. So if I just leave everything selected, and click OK, I'm gonna get no duplicate values found. That's just telling me that I don't have duplicate in all rows, um, in all columns, just copy and paste. If I were to have like a true duplicate in each column, like this employee one, and try this again and it will remove that one duplicate. So one duplicate value was found in removed, 48 unique values remain. Um, so that's what it means by removing duplicates. So how can I actually use this to get the information I want? So if I wanted to just list out all the different bonus types, or maybe you have different job categories, different functional areas in the organization, you just want to list out what are the different types or categories. I would copy this and paste into a new page just because I like to keep a backup or or you could save a new file so you could keep this information because when you remove duplicates, you're going to delete, you're going to end up deleting that information. So you might want to save a backup. So for this purpose, I will just paste out the one column that I want and go to data, remove duplicates. My data does have a header. I only have one column, select okay. It's removed 44 values and I have eight unique values. So then that will just give me uh, 
each type of category or bonus type that we have in this whole data set. So you could do the same thing with employee ID, or maybe I wanted to do it by date and see what are the main pay dates that we've had in the for bonuses in the past year. Then I would just do the same thing. And it's giving me 44 duplicates again removed. So these don't necessarily line up to each other. So I probably shouldn't put them next to each other that way. So that's just telling me any type of bonus was paid out on those specific dates in the last year. So I think you're getting the hang of that. So how can this help you fill out some information? The total reward statement. This is where you put the employee information in and you're creating a, a statement page of all their earnings and bonuses and, and everything the company is paying for. This template was set up so that you would copy and paste all your employee data into these different tabs. Uh, so each tab at the bottom would have list of employee data. And then the statement tab, you would change the employee ID number, and then it would pull in based on what's in the other tabs and pages, which I think I would mostly just have example data for employee number one. So that will automatically populate everything for you after you fill it out. But sometimes a question we get is, and kind of relates to the duplicates, is you really need, you can't have duplicate rows for each employee ID when you're filling out this data because the statement page is only going to pull in the data for the first occurrence of this employee number one. So if I had employee number one listed again on the second row, the statement will not pull in anything that's listed here for the second row. So definitely reviewing if your file has that duplicate information per employee ID and getting everything within one, one row for your each employee will help to populate this template. So for this example, let's see, say that I did have this HR data and I do have duplicate employee IDs, how do I then populate it? So I can see that I have six different bonus plan types. Now the template is set up, so we just have a spot for three bonus types here, but there's also additional benefits tab that you can name the type and the amount on this tab as well. So for this example, I'm just gonna show you, I'm gonna change it to match the bonus plans we have in the example. So we had KPI, commission, and special event. So how do I get this organized in columns? I'm actually gonna revert to pivot tables. So removing the duplicates is really only helping us to see kind of a summary, but the pivot table can tell us a lot more. Pivot table can tell us, well, it can get it, the data in the format where there's no duplicates and it can also tell us how many employees are in KPI, how many are in commission, so it can give us a count. So first I'm going to highlight the data again and insert pivot table, new worksheet. And so we still want employee ID. When we just list out the employee ID, it's not going to list it duplicate times. So everything that we do can be a total or an average per employee ID. Then the next thing I'm gonna do is the bonus type, and then I wanna see the bonus amount. So you'll see at first it looks kind of wonky. I always go to design, report layout, show in tabular form, and subtotal, do not show subtotals. Now it's giving us more information, but you'll see this would still be considered not necessarily a duplicate. I can tell that there's duplicate rows for employee number one because um, there's one row for commission and one for KPI. But in order to get it, if we look at our template, we need the KPI amount one column, commission to be another column. So how do I get this data in column format? What I'm going to do is move it over here to the columns. 
So I'm going to take bonus type, move it to the column. So now you'll see I have the different bonus types in each column, but I still have the amount right here, which is not going to help me paste that into the template. I'm going to move the amount to values and I'll keep it as a sum because I want the total amount that was paid. Um, depending on what you're doing, you could right click and you could do an average if you wanted. And now we have some data that it has the duplicates removed from duplicate employee ID is removed. And now we have each bonus plan in the in the columns. So for this one now for employee one, I could now paste in or really for all the employees, I would actually put it in this order commission KPI manager incentive. So I would put it in that order and then you could just paste the employee IDs and then I don't want the grand total uh, control C to copy and then I'm going to paste the amounts in and then let me go back and grab my employee ID. I got to paste that separately because employee ID is going to be over here in this column. Okay, so after I do that, I'm all set to use this template. And so now if I look at employee number one, it should be showing me 800 for commission, 500 for KPI. And then I go to the statement page and the commission and KPI amounts have been updated. So that's a kind of an example of why you would want duplicates removed, how you can check if your data has duplicates, how you can know what um, the main categories are. And I hope that helps. And you can also find this, this template, the reward statement template by going to timesavingtemplates.com and go to the shop tab in human resources spreadsheets it'll be here right at i guess it's the first one and we also have some free resources that you can find if you go to timesavingtemplates.com slash free resources and we have different freebies for small businesses rental property management and the hr or compensation related uh, cheat sheet as well as a free guide to getting started with excel and until next time, don't forget, I'm here to help you streamline and save time when it comes to using Excel spreadsheets for your small business, your HR department, and for rental property management. So feel free to like and subscribe, and I will see you next time. Thanks.